High in the Polish Carpathian Mountains, nestled among the peaks and valleys of the Podele region, lies a place of ancient secrets. Oblazowa Cave, a natural limestone formation, has borne witness to the passage of time for millennia. Its mouth, a dark opening in the hillside, hints at the mysteries held within. For centuries, it remained undisturbed, a silent guardian of the past. Within the cave's depths, the earth holds memories. Layers of sediment, accumulated over countless seasons, form a chronological tapestry. These layers, like the pages of a history book, tell a story of changing climates, migrating animals, and the first humans to call this land home. Oblazoa stands as a portal to a time long gone, a window into the lives of our prehistoric ancestors. The entrance to Oblazoa Cave is a gateway to another world. Stepping through its threshold is to journey back in time. The air within is cool and damp, carrying the scent of earth and stone. Sunlight fades with each step deeper, replaced by the flicker of lanterns, illuminating the path ahead. Archaeologists, like detectives at a crime scene, meticulously excavate the cave floor. Each layer of sediment, carefully removed and documented, reveals another piece of the puzzle. The excavation process is slow and deliberate. Every artifact, every bone fragment, every trace of ash is carefully mapped and catalogued. The depth of the dig is astounding. Meters of sediment, representing thousands of years of history, are painstakingly sifted and analyzed. From these fragments, a story begins to emerge. Leading the exploration of Oblazoa are two renowned archaeologists, Professor Paul Valder Nowak and Professor Adam Nadakowski. Their passion for the past and their meticulous approach have yielded remarkable insights into the lives of the cave's ancient inhabitants. They approach their work with reverence, understanding that they are custodians of a fragile past. Through their careful analysis of the cave's stratigraphy, they have constructed a timeline of occupation. The layers of sediment, each with its own unique characteristics, tell a story of changing climate and environment. The artifacts found within these layers provide a glimpse into the lives of those who sought shelter and sustenance within the cave's embrace. Deep within Oblazawa Cave, the oldest layers of sediment whisper tales of a harsher time. The Ice Age gripped the land, shaping the landscape and influencing the lives of all creatures. These layers, dating back tens of thousands of years, hold evidence of a time when mammoths roamed the frozen plains and humans struggled for survival. The presence of Ice Age fauna, such as woolly rhinoceros, reindeer and cave bear, alongside human artifacts, paints a vivid picture of life on the edge of the ice sheet. The discovery of hearths, tools and animal bones speaks to the ingenuity and resilience of these early humans. They adapted to a challenging environment, utilizing the resources available to survive. Section 5. Treasures of the Hunt. Among the most intriguing discoveries at Oblazawa are the artifacts crafted from bone, antler and ivory. These objects, shaped by skilled hands, provide insights into the daily lives and beliefs of these ancient people. The craftsmanship displayed in these items is remarkable. They were not merely tools, but objects of beauty and purpose. One object stands out as particularly remarkable, a boomerang fashioned from a mammoth tusk. This find, unique in the archeological record, speaks to the ingenuity and skill of these ancient hunters. Other discoveries, such as intricately carved pendants and bone needles, hint at a rich cultural life. The presence of carved human phalanges, found in deeper layers, raises intriguing questions about ritual practices and beliefs surrounding fertility and the hunt. Section 6, A Place of Ritual. The presence of certain artifacts within the cave suggests that Oblazova was more than just a shelter. It appears to have held a deeper significance for the people who inhabited it. The mammoth tusk boomerang with its elaborate carvings may have been more than just a hunting tool. It could have served a ceremonial purpose, perhaps used in rituals to ensure a successful hunt. The carved human phalanges found in association with hearths and animal bones suggest rituals related to fertility and abundance. It is possible that Oblazawa Cave served as a sanctuary, a place where humans connected with the spiritual world and sought favor from the forces of nature. The evidence points towards a complex belief system intertwined with the challenges and triumphs of survival in a harsh environment. Section seven, the shifting landscape. 
The story of Oblazowa Cave is also a story of environmental change. The layers of sediment reveal a landscape in constant flux. The climate oscillated between glacial periods and warmer interglacial periods, impacting the flora and fauna of the region. The people who lived in and around Oblazowa Cave had to adapt to these changes, altering their hunting strategies and subsistence patterns. While the krakow Chestochowa upland, located further north, experienced more pronounced glacial activity, the Podole region, with its higher elevation, presented its own set of challenges. The findings at Oblazowa provide valuable insights into how humans adapted to the unique environmental conditions of this mountainous region. Section 8, Echoes of Our Ancestors. The discoveries at Oblazowa Cave provide a fascinating glimpse into the lives of our distant ancestors. They were not primitive beings, but skilled artisans, resourceful hunters and spiritual people. They faced the challenges of their environment with ingenuity and resilience. Their tools, their art and their rituals speak to a rich cultural life, deeply connected to the natural world. The echoes of their presence resonate within the cave walls. As we study their artifacts and interpret their meaning, we gain a deeper understanding of our shared human story. Oblazowa Cave serves as a powerful reminder of our connection to the past and the enduring spirit of humanity.